Now, let's try to understand the formula a little bit better over here. Now. Okay? Why is the formula that written in this way? Now? What does all these things mean? Okay? So I will try to show a simple example over here to show you what's going on. Now. now, let's just say you are selling an item and that item costs you 100 ringgit. Okay? Now, when you set a price over here, you are always setting it in its 100% value. All right? You are always setting it in its 100% value. All right? So, we can write as like this. So, my price over here is 100. Right? Okay? I am setting my price. This price, it's my 100% value. Correct? And when we talk about percentage, what's the maximum that we can get? It's going to be 100, right? Okay. So, of course, okay, what we see over here is this is the price that I set, 100 ringgit. That is my 100% value. And the maximum percentage is going to be 100, right? So, of course, we can quickly calculate this. This will cancel out to become 1, all right? 100 divided by 100, you get 1. And 100 multiplied by 1, you will get 100. Right? No surprise, correct? Because I am not increasing or decreasing the price over here. Okay? So I'm just going to show you, right? If you are not increasing or decreasing the price, right? You will definitely get back the original price that you have set. Okay? But let's just say right now you are giving a discount. Right? You're giving a discount. So let's just say you're giving a 10 percent discount all right so we can rewrite this as like this all right we can rewrite this as like this so we know that our original price is 100 okay and this value over here it's always my 100 percent right this is my 100 percent when i set my value it's always my 100 percent okay and we know that the maximum percentage here is 100 as well, correct? But since I'm giving a 10% discount here, all right, I'm giving 10% discount. The value that I set is 100 ringgit, that's my 100%. I'm giving a 10% discount. So I should subtract 10 over here, right? So the value over here is no longer my 100%. So when we simplify this, what do we get? We will get 100, okay, multiply with 90 over 100. Oops, 100. Now, what does this fraction tell you over here? So, since you have given a 10% discount, right now, you are selling your item It's in its 90% of its original price. Okay, can you see that? You are now selling the item in its... in 90% of its original price, okay, because you have given a 10% discount. Originally, we set our price 100 ringgit, that's our 100%. We gave 10% discount, means we subtract by 10, and what's left? 90. Okay, so we are selling our item now in 90% of its original price. So, of course, we can calculate this very quickly, and the final price over here will be. 90 ringgit, right? So very similarly, I can do the opposite, all right? So instead of saying I'm giving a 10% reduction, I can also say I can give you a 10% increase in price. So what will happen over here? All right? What, what will happen over here? My original value is always 100. Right? This is my 100% value out of 100, right? But since I'm increasing its price, I will go into go more than 100%. So I'm going to add with 10. I'm earning 10% extra over here. Right? I'm earning 10% extra over here. So if we simplify this, what do we get? We will get 110. Okay? We have exceeded our maximum value over here. All right? So, of course, when we take this and calculate, when we increase the price by 10%, I'm like, it's like saying that I'm selling this item now in additional of its 
okay additional is 10 percent so in this case it will be 110 okay so that's why the formula is written as such